Starting out, every player dreams of turning professional. If it's a hard road, making it to the top in sport is something to savour. And 30-year-old Pablo Cuevas from Uruguay is one man relishing his tennis life. It's obviously great to be at this level I am today. It's unbelievable the way I'm treated. Where I go, we stay in the best hotels, I get to play the best tournaments, and I really enjoy all that. Cuevas just keeps getting better. Two ATP World Tour titles this season have taken his career total to five. And for his coach, Alberto Mancini, the relationship is a pleasure, thanks to the Uruguayans' hunger to improve. As a coach, it's really good to have someone that really wants uh, what he's doing and really wants to fight for more. I mean, he's a little bit similar to what I was used to uh, when I was playing, uh, the way I was playing, so we are pretty the same. So a lot of things, I think, uh, uh, encouraged me to, to go out and, and work with him. I really like the messages he gives me, whether it's technical or tactical. And he also helps me massively outside the court and helps me mentally, which is a massive aspect of this sport. I'm very happy with the decision I took to work with him. Overcoming serious injury is one of Pablo's great achievements. He's at a career high of world number 20 and relishing a comeback, some doubted he'd make. Before my injury, I was having a great year. I'd won my best match, I'd beaten Roddick and Songa, and I got injured at the top of my game, at the best moment in my career. And in a way that was good, because in those two years, I was on and off, I could feel that I could do more. And even though I went through difficult times and two surgeries and uncertainties as to when I was going to come back, I became more mature during that time. I started to value other things. I started to enjoy other things. I even started to enjoy the competition more, to take better advantage of the practice sessions. And in a way, I actually realized how short the career of a tennis player is, and I started to value it more. Well, Pablo is a, first is a great person and he's playing unbelievable tennis this season and he's uh, the biggest top one to beat on clay course because uh, he plays so good on the red clay and I wish all the best to him and his team. After a very good start to the year, I'm now focusing on trying to be inside the top 20 and try to stay there for a while. I would also love to be able to touch the top 10, but I think it's still a bit far, and for now, I think I first need to maintain my level, learn a few things, and be able to stay inside the top 20. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, O Canada, we've a special report from Toronto as they get ready to play host. And Russian goals, we speak to ambitious next-gen star, Karen Kachinov. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.